Okay, let's have a look at the lower Mosul. First of all, by looking at the Mosul River itself. Uh, so the Mosul's source is the Vosges Mountains in France, and it runs for about four, uh, sorry, 546 kilometers. Now, we're going to look at the city, which is really at the end of the Mosul, which is a city called Koblenz. And Koblenz is important because it is where the Mosul meets the Rhine. Okay, two of our major rivers. There you go. That's the confluence just there. Now, let's have a look at the lower Mosul, often overshadowed by the middle Mosul. Uh, that is the areas which are very famed. So let's have a look at that now. And we're going to really sort of zoom in on an area called Berg Kochem. And this is often referred to as the terraced Mosul. That's because one of the key sites here is uh, Bremer Kalmont, which is the steepest vineyard in Europe, apparently at just over 60% gradient on a hill of about 290 meters. Look at that in the bend there. That's quite wonderful. This is all slate, exceptionally steep, uh, famous, famous site here for Riesling. Okay, let's have a look at the middle Mosul for Braunberg and Erden. So this is, of course, the middle Mosul, as we were just discussing. There is the Mosul River in its entirety again, of course, a fairly long river over 540 kilometers, meandering its way from the Vosges to the Rhine. We are going to focus on the middle Mosul, of course, and we're going to look at um, Braunberg and then also Erden. So with Braunberg, we're going to zoom in on first. Let's take a look here. So we're not too far from Peaceport. And uh, this is another rather meandering part of the Mosul, as you can see. And here we go. So you're going to see here, Braunberg, the uh, town comes into play. And, and opposite that is the very steep slope. So we're going to look at uh, Jufa and then Jufa Zonnenhoer, the two key sites. Jufa is 31 hectares, and it's uh, south southeast facing clay slate at about 43%. And then Jufa Zonnenhoer, which is the Jufa sundial or sun clock, is the smaller site, 10.6 hectares. But it does share the same area, and it's right by the river. So it is the same exposure, same soil, and same gradient. So there you can clearly see those two famous sites. So Jufa and Jufa Zonnenhoer, which is opposite the town itself. Now we're going to jump all the way to Erden, where we're going to look at Trepschen and Prelat. Trepschen means the little staircase, and these are wonderful steep slopes opposite the town of Erden. These are both south-facing on this kind of red slate iron soil, so specifically quite reddish. Um, there is Trepschen, uh, the larger of the two, and then we'll see Prelat, which is the smaller with only 1.6 hectares in total. But you can see that it is, is in that really advantageous area, which is opposite Erden. And there is the very small Prelat area. Wonderful steep slopes. This give you a great view for these, uh, these wonderful Grosse Gewerk, Grosse Lagers. There you are for the first part of the Middle Mosul. Okay, well, let's have a look at both Grak and Erzig in terms of our famous sites. So, of course, as always, get our bearings for the River Mosul, uh, one of the most important rivers in Germany, running into the River Rhine. And we're going to the Middle Mosul. And we're really now getting towards those famous areas. And we're going to look at the, um, the village of Grak and the village of Erzig eventually. But this area is exceptionally famous. So here is Grac and der Mosel. Okay, that, so that's actually situated on the north side facing south. And you'll see those steep slopes around it. In the distance, actually up, up uh, or downstream rather, is Velen. But here we've got Himmelreich, first of all, quite large, 87 hectares on clay blue slate towards the top of the slope, kind of uh, around the panhandle of Domprost which is the smaller site near the village itself at 28.5 hectares. Uh, that was named after the Dean of Trier Cathedral. And now let's go round the bend past Velen and we head to Erdzig, quite a famous village. And Erdzig is famous for the Wurzgarten. 
vineyard, Wurzgarten. So that's Erzig, um, actually kind of almost at um, a meeting point there uh, of the slopes. And Wurzgarten is on red soils, very steep, forms a massive amphitheater of the Rotligendes red volcanic sandstone. Uh, and it makes quite exotic style Rieslings, as I'm sure you are aware. Okay, let's have a look at uh, possibly the most well-known and famous part of the Mosul. So there is the river Mosul, of course, meandering its way to the Rhine. And we go to really the heart of the middle Mosul, looking at the town of Bernkastel, Kuz, and then also the village of Velen. So here we are, focusing in on that, Bernkastel Kuz. Um, so it has the old Bernkastel part to the eastern side and then joined to Kuz, which is on its western side. And we're going to focus in on uh, one of the vineyard sites here. There are quite a few, but we're going to look at Doctor. Uh, and of course, there is Ley as well, quite famous next door to it. There is Doctor. So this is only 3.3 hectares right next to the old town. And this is at about 38 to 40 percent degree uh, and wonderful concentration of vineyards there. Look at that in all of its glory, um, facing kind of south and southeast with a slightly different part of uh, aspect. And then, of course, we're going to head just downstream to the village of Valem, which sits on the south side of the river, there it is, and its vineyards are, are all wholly on the north side. So you have to cross the bridge and go to possibly the most well-known, best-known site, which is, of course, Velen and Zonnenher, which means sundial for the famous sundial, which is carved into this landscape. Some of the most powerful yet restrained mineral expressions of Rieslings come from this area, of course, made very famous by a producer like J.J. Prum, but look at that beautiful site just there, all completely vineyards of the Velen and Zonnenhur. There are many others here as well, but we're just focusing on the most famous ones as per the level three syllabus. So that's that famous area stretching from Velen to Bernkastel, or rather Bernkastel to Velen. Okay, so let's have a quick look to put into perspective the upper Mosul. So there's the Mosul River. Uh, of course, we know this is one of the areas um, most northerly in wine producing regions in Germany. Of course, the Aar is above it, a little bit higher. Um, very meandering river, very steep uh, slopes, of course, dotted along the Mosul. I'm going to look at the extensive mountain range that protects the whole area, the Eiffel Mountains, it's a low mountain range. Um, some of the peaks here around 700 meters like the Schneefel. And this offers uh, some protection, of course, to this area. So let's go to the upper. Uh, and this is the lower part, sorry, the upper, but uh, the most su southerly section that we'll focus on. And we'll look at the city here of importance. First of all, the very historically important city of Trier. Uh, Roman establishment initially written about by Ozonius. And then we'll look at the wine regions that are close to this area. So these are the Saar and the Ruva. So let's have a look at the Saar first of all, the Saar land. So uh, this is a part, of course, of the upper Mosul. The Mosul Gate belongs to the Saar land. And there you'll see the river Saar that runs into the Mosul another meandering river through this landscape. And then its smallest area closer to Trier is the Ruver. Uh, there you go, that's the Ruver, so our smallest area. And another river that runs into the Mosul. Uh, it's a wonderful landscape there of the Ruver.